guards to, to, to pull you over and, and get you to give a sample of saliva, you just had to be breaking the law. Now that's a very, it's, it's, it's a very wide ambit. The 2010 Act allows them to demand a saliva sample from anyone who's breaking the law. You don't, uh, you don't have to, all you have to do is, is, is in, you know, create some breach of the law in some way. I've had people who've been not using their indicators coming out of a petrol station as a pretext to stop them and demand a saliva sample. And then they give a saliva sample and if it shows up, they're being arrested. Uh, that's any little, any little infraction at all is enough to justify a stop. And in some cases, it's, I think it's quite unfair, to be honest. Well, if you fail a breath test, you're brought to the local station and then uh, you're asked to either give us, uh, you're brought to the, the intoxilizer room or the room where the intoxilizer machine is kept and then you're, at, you're, you're brought through the process of blowing into that machine to give what's known as two specimens of your breath. Um, sometimes the, the intoxilizer machine isn't working. In that case, then you, it, would, it reverts back to blood or urine where a doctor is then called. Uh, but in, if you fail a breath test, you'll be, you'll be arrested and brought to the station, yeah. Road traffic is, it's something that really affects people a great deal. I mean, what, what, what you discover with road traffic is that it means a lot to people. Because if they're being prosecuted for drink driving or sometimes drug driving, dangerous driving, careless driving, driving without, whatever, speeding, the consequences of those things are pretty severe sometimes for people. Um, and the people that I tend to represent all tend to be quite nervous of court. They've never been to court and they're in some cases really quite sometimes petrified about court. So a lot of what I do is try and walk them through that process of what to expect on that day and the next day perhaps. But I try and guide them through the process because it's completely alien to them. They've never been there.